I appreciate you coming to meet me like this. You see, I need some off-the-record advice and, well, I didn't know who to turn to. Well, I'm happy to help you, Augusta. We've been friends for a long time, but why didn't you go to Mike Claiborne? He's been Lionel's attorney for as long as I can remember. Well, it's not really Mike's line. You see, it falls more in the area of family law. Well, I'll do the best I can. Tell me what you want, and uh, if I don't have the answers, I probably can get them for you. Well, it's, it's sort of a, a hypothetical question. You see, what would happen if a man thought that his wife were dead and for a long time, and then suddenly she came back, seemingly from the grave? Would she have any rights? Well, I suppose primarily she would have the right to have a decent reburial. funny, but I'm really quite serious about this, Alan, please. Well, it would all depend on how long she'd been dead. Uh, you're not conducting some bizarre experiments in bringing wives back from the grave, are you? You insist on teasing me, and I'm quite serious. <laughs> all right. Um, if a spouse is missing and is believed to have been dead for seven or more years, uh, she can be declared uh, legally dead. Uh, is that the case here? It's more than seven. Oh, well, all the husband has to do is to um, go to court and petition to have her declared legally dead. In that case, uh, if she did come back, she would no longer be legally married to her husband. Well, let's assume as well that the man is planning to get married and the wife comes back. Is there anything that she could do to spoil the plans? Are you planning some uh, long-term revenge on Lionel? Please. Lionel would never dare to remarry when I died. I'd come back in a hundred years and stop it. <laughs> he wouldn't dream of it. Besides, if anything happened to you, he'd probably go into perpetual mourning. Thank you. Just one other thing. Would the woman have any claim on the man's property? None whatsoever. I wish you'd tell me what you have in mind. Just idle curiosity. I have never known your curiosity to be idle, Augusta. Good afternoon. Oh, Mr. Capwell, could you tell me if uh, you've seen Gina DeMott in the last few minutes? No, I haven't seen her. Huh. And an appointment to meet her at 3.30. It's not like her to be late. If uh, you see her come in before I do, would you tell her I'm here? Surely. Where will you be? Oh, nearby. If I'm not here, I'll be in the bar. I'll make sure she finds you, sir. Thank you. Now, that's funny. What's Augusta doing here? And why is she with an attorney?